Alright guys, welcome back to yet another uh, plugin demonstration of mine. This one's going to be a little awkward for all of us because it's a plugin in development and we're bound to come across bugs. So, I mean, this is, like I said, it's a demonstration. It's not ready for a full release yet. I will have a development build out for people to try out, hopefully bug test. If they want to help out with the development of this plugin, I'd be much obliged if you would help me out. But without further ado, I'm going to go ahead and give the background for this plugin, and then I'm going to hop in game and show you how it works really fast. This plugin is called Trading Post. It's going to be Econ Chat plugin, and here's the backstory for this. My server has a lot of people, I'm just going to use the term people so nobody gets offended, that uh, spam the chat with constant, well, just constant messages about want to buy that, I want to trade that, does anybody have any slime balls, please give me slime balls, they'll do it repeatedly, and it gets on, like, every, just, it, it gets on my nerves, I don't like it at all. So, I wanted to code a plugin that would solve this issue for myself, and at the same time, provide a useful resource for my players to trade with each other. And without further ado, we're going to go ahead and hop in game and see what all this is about. Alright, so... Oh, well, pay no attention to that. You have one new trade notification. That's not important right now. Type trade. Plugin's called Trading Post. Now, that is a really annoying thing to type out, so the base command is trade. I would use TP if it weren't for the fact that that would conflict with every other plugin out there that has anything to do with teleports, and I really don't want to have to deal with that. So, type trade, help, and we're going to get our help list. Alright, so, trade, we're just going to go through these one by one, and try to do it as fast as we can, because I don't want a long video. Alright, so, trade list. List all want to trade, want to buy, want to sell post. Let's go ahead and type trade list. Oh, there's not a single damn thing on there. That is because no player has actually posted anything on here. Now, I don't want anybody to freak out. This plugin does save any messages posted by players on the trading board. It just, I completely wiped the database for this for use of this uh demonstration that's what we're calling it not a tutorial all right so we're going to do trade tcw and this launches the trade creation wizard now i'm going to tell you a little bit of backstory about this when i went into this plugin as i said these people on my server that were spamming chat well they're not exactly the brightest people and i can't trust them to use a single command to write out a trading post which is why I created a trade creation wizard. This will guide them through it. It is very painless. There is no complicated syntax for it. You simply type yes, no, and if it's in green and you want it, you go after that. I'm going to show you what I mean. So you have, welcome to the cre trade creation wizard. Do you wish to continue? I go ahead and tell the player right out right now. Responses must be typed without the brackets. If they type it in the brackets, like so, like, hey, oh, I'm going to completely ignore the pink text, yes. Oh, post-creation terminating. Clearly I did something wrong. So we're going to try that again. All right, so if we want to cancel out, you hit no, or as I just showed you, you post something wrong. So we're going to go ahead and continue. We're going to hit yes. Please select whether you want to trade, sell, or buy. And we're going to, we want to sell. I also want you guys to note that this is completely commandless. You are just typing in prompts as it gives them to you, and it is not sending it to other players. You are in your own little chat channel right now with this trade creation wizard. So we're going to sell gold ingots, and I'm not going to make it plural because it will add the S at the end when the actual post is constructed from the variables given here. So please type the amount you want people to pay. I, I think a standard price here is 100 coins for gold ingots. And then bam, there you go. Very easy, very painless. Shows you the message you just constructed. So let's go over it. First thing is the post tag. This will tell you whether it's want to sell, want to trade, want to buy. Next thing is, I mean, you're, anything in gold is just standardized for each one. So selling the item you wanted, and it pluralized, makes it plural for you. This is why you don't want to make your thing plural when you type it in, otherwise it will have an extra S on the end, for 100 coins each, and then it will show you the name of the player that just created this. So, I'm okay with this, I'm going to type confirm. Add it to the database. Now, we can type slash trade list, and bam. There you go. Nice and easy. Quick and painless. That's, that's my goal here. 
But at the same time, this can be tedious for people who are actually savvy of commands and not brain dead. So, of course, I added a quick command interface for those who are actually, I don't know, who know what they're doing, I guess? So we're going to do trade, new. I'm going to want to buy. That's my type. Trade, new, type, item. Now, we're, I'm going to buy gold ingots. And please note that if you're using the command interface, you cannot have a space like you did with the trade creation wizard. This is a limitation of commands. I, I can't do anything efficient about this. I mean, there are ways to get around it, but there's no point in trying to. Price per item? I want to buy gold ingots for 90. So there you go. Trade, list, bam. Paying 90 coins per gold ingot, Dr. Boner. Alright, so... Let's discuss the few additional features that are currently in this plugin. I want to let Dr. Boner know that I am interested in his offer of selling gold ingots for 100 coins each. So we're going to type slash trade help. You'll notice at the bottom there's trade notify post ID player. Now the post ID is the number that will appear next to the post in the trading list. So I'm going to let him know that I am interested so I'm going to do trade notify. The ID is 1 for the first message. The player name is Dr. Bo, but I'm, it's got built-in recognition of any player name that is currently online. So we're going to do Dr. Bo. So we're just going to do Dr. Underscore. Go ahead and show you it works. Now, I'm playing by myself, and what I just did was notified myself. So you're going to see the text for both the sender and the receiver. Notification sent to Dr. Boner. That's great and dandy. And you just received a trade notification from yourself. Because I'm schizophrenic in Minecraft. That's how it works when you're a plugin developer. It's the only way you can get around. Let's do to view it, type slash trade notification. Type it, Dr. Boner notified you about this trade post. And then it will give you the trade post ID that they're interested in. And this is as far as it's going to take you. You guys will have to work, well not you guys, but these two players will have to work out how they're going to trade from there. Now granted, I do plan on adding a custom trade interface. I want to make it abundantly clear that this is not going to be an automated trade plugin. People will not be able to trade from across the map. That's simply not the way it's going to work, and it won't work on my server like that because that's not how my playstyle really works out. But this is just sort of, think of it as a bridge so that it's an easy way for players to trade with others, to establish trades, to let others know, hey, I'm really interested in this post, maybe you want to meet up somewhere and we'll work something out. Alright, so I'm going to go ahead and go over the last little feature I have here that's already working, and then I'm going to cut it off. So we're going to do trade, help, let's see, trade, remove, so let's go ahead and do trade, remove, and we're going to remove all posts by myself. This one does not currently have name recognition, so you're, you're going to have to do the uh, long printout. I, I apologize for this. So, all of my trading posts have been removed. When I do trade, list, completely empty. Alright, and that's... Oh, one quick thing. I'm not going to show it to you because I'm just going to... I already know it works perfectly. You... The trading post limits itself to four per page. And after it gets to four, any post after this will get cut off. So, what you're going to have to do is do trade, list... Two for page two, trade list three, and this will just list any posts and keep getting pushed back. Um, try to remind your users to remove posts if they've already been like expired. I guess is what I'm gonna say. I might add a default config for like you know expire after X amount of time, but that's not anywhere in the near future. Anyways, I'm gonna cut it off here because this is supposed to be a demonstration to show you that this is actually being developed and that this work in progress thread is not. Like, you know, oh, I have an idea, but I've done absolutely nothing to start coding it yet, sort of thing. So, I'm going to go ahead and cut it off here. So, uh, yeah. Developmental build will be in the thread itself that you'll probably be watching this from. And, uh, if you want to try it out, post any bugs, let me know. I'm, I'm happy to hear them. I'd love to fix them.